So when I came up with this idea to write a letter to my younger self, I grossly underestimated how hard it would be to start this thing. Like, how do I tell this 15-year-old baby that, okay, yeah, Trump just got elected to be the 45th president of the United States, you just played a munchkin in your high school's production of The Wizard of Oz, um, your friend group is about like a sneeze away from totally breaking apart, and uh, that boy you're in love with, totally toxic for you. Um, but also, that is not the worst it's gonna get. <laughs> like, oh my god, I think if you told December 2016 Lucy that I was about to start the worst year of my life, and that wouldn't even be the one with a huge pandemic in it, I literally don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Like, it is so insane for me to think about how four years ago, um, I was an entirely different person. This girl I'm writing to had never been to What's My Favorite Place on Earth. She had never performed the lead role in a production. She had no idea where she was going in life, and she just really didn't know what her place in the world was supposed to be. Um, to be fair, she also hadn't started therapy yet and wasn't on 200 milligrams of Zoloft every night. Um, but we don't need to talk about that right now. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly, little dude, you've yet to truly experience joy. I know you're gonna think I'm wrong about this one, but the day you learn to reroute your psyche is the day that you learn how to force happiness to be your superpower. Some people might call that a god complex or dangerous, um, but I just call it like an anything's possible mentality. <laughs> Like, okay, here's an example. On September 13th, 2020, you wrote, I fear no God, I am the universe, okay, good night, gonna go to work. <laughs> I have literally no memory of what was going on that day, uh, but one thing's for sure, a mentally stable person would never write that. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, being stables for chumps. <laughs> Thanks again. So I guess what I'm getting at here is nothing matters and everything matters. There will be so many wonderful things coming your way, but you can't have those without the painful shit too. I wish I could tell you otherwise, but that's just not how things work. Now, I know there is a singular burning question that you are waiting to hear about. No, um, you're not in love. <laughs> And that fact does make you sad, but like, okay, it makes you sad a lot, but um, you choose your happy little God complex and then you feel fine. My point really is no, things aren't gonna go according to plan. Some things will, uh, and those will be awesome, but you really just have to accept that you've got absolutely no control over the rest. By giving yourself over to the unknown, you're free to be the optimistic, fearless woman of your dreams. But there are some days where this just isn't the case. Instead of celebrating all you know you're doing well, you find yourself trapped beneath the dark fog, unable to find a way back. You don't understand why just yet, but there are days when the only logical choice seems to be to crawl back into bed. Ignore all your work, ignore all your texts, ignore your parents and your friends and all of the other beautiful people you've brought into your life, and instead, shut down. You're isolating again, your therapist will tell you. I know, you'll say. This is self-destructive, she'll tell you. I know, you'll say. And you do know. Because behind those curtains of fog exists all that beauty, and you know it's there. But it's just so much easier to give in and just lay on your back, staring at the ceiling until it all fades away.
For someone who preaches taking care of your mental health and going at your own pace as much as you do, you sure do still deal with a lot of self-loathing. You love who you are, and you can't stand yourself. You're proud of your growth, and you don't know why anyone would love you. There's very little in between some days. So I'm still working on finding this middle ground, on understanding that multiple things can be true at the same time, and they're usually not the extremes found in the nights where you go scream in a field or get to kiss someone for the first time. There are millions of yous spanning that wide, wide range. Walt Whitman once wrote, Do I contradict myself? Very well then, I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes. And hey, at your very worst, you've always contained those multitudes. You are every good thought, bad memory, kind word, earth-shattering fight, and so much more. You are everyone who has ever loved you, and everyone you have ever loved. Where could I possibly begin to describe how you've grown these past years? Things get better, and then they don't. And then they do, and then they don't again. It's high time you start to embrace it, because truly it's only going to get bumpier from here. But that's your journey, kid. And no one can take that from you. Sometimes I'm tired and I wonder what's so all fired. Important about being in some place at some time. Whoa. on easy street and I know that he might take the bit of with the three I guess it gets to everyone you think you're not having any fun and I wonder what you're doing playing the games you play hey well it's true what they say if you want to feel So don't let it get you down, my friend Though it seems the blues will never end On this you can depend They always do I can tell you that it's true It's a feeling